y'all. So I felt like sharing a experience that I had um, growing up as a taller person. And my friend actually, my best friend actually reminded me of this. Um, it's something that happened to me when I was really, really young, um, probably like five or six years old. Um, and I will never forget it. Like I remember it to this day. So I was in an after school program um, at a like a daycare center and they decided to have a field trip to take all the younger kids to Six Flags. Um, I was probably like five or six at the time. So being that we were obviously pretty young, we weren't able to do your regular roller coasters and all your other rides that they have at Six Flags. They did have like a children's area that was reserved specifically for kids. And it had like your tunnels, your little nets for climbing, like monkey bar type stuff. And it had the ball pit. And I was really excited about climbing into this tunnel and jumping into the ball pit. So I remember specifically looking forward to doing that. And I remember lining up with my friends, you know, one by one, you know, climbing into the they were climbing into the tunnels and jumping into the ball pit. So I remember my turn coming up and one of the Six Flags attendants coming to me and stopping me. So basically the attendant had me stand next to this little little sign, I guess, which had like a, a measuring scheme on it or something. But basically it pointed out the the height requirement to be able to get on get in the tubes or the tunnels to go into the ball pit. So apparently there was a height requirement for that. And basically they told me that I was over the height requirement and that I was not able to go in the tunnels and jump into the ball pit and play with my friends. And it was so embarrassing. I was so embarrassed and I was so like heartbroken that I wasn't able to do it. I just remember being so upset because I was just told I couldn't play with my friends on this particular um, this particular set of equipment. And as a kid, like you don't you don't know, really understand why they're just telling you you can't do it. And it was just it was a really bad feeling because I just felt so isolated and I felt like I was singled out and it just felt like, you know, something was wrong with me because I was not allowed to play with my friends. So it just made me feel like there was something about me that made me different and it came across as something negative, like, you know, this thing about me. Um, that separated me from my friends, which, you know, was my height, it came across like it was a negative thing. So basically, I had to sit off to the side and watch my friends play in the tunnels and play in the ball pit. And I had to watch from the sidelines. And it was just like a messed up feeling because it's like, okay, you're obviously too small to get on the regular rides, but you're too big to play on the children's rides. And so it's like, I didn't feel like I belonged. Like there was no place for me. That's how it felt. Um, eventually we moved on to some other, um, like some other activities or whatever that I was able to do. But that particular moment stuck with me. As you can see till this day, I'm an adult and I never forgot that experience. So I think that that was one of the first moments growing up that I realized that, you know, I was different from other kids my age. Basically, that my height set me apart from my peers. Um, so that was definitely the first time I actually experienced that. And it was not a positive experience. So that's one of the negative experiences I had growing up being a taller individual. Of course, it wasn't all negative, but you know, it's not easy when you're younger um, and you feel like you're different and 
usually when you're younger, it's all about wanting to fit in and not wanting to stand out. So it is a struggle at first um, to accept that there's something about you that makes you different from other people. Like, and it's it, actually it's a good thing, but when you're young, it doesn't feel like it. Of course, now I've come to love my height. Um, I embrace my height and I embrace that that's something that sets me apart from other people but it did take a really long time to get to that point um, of accepting myself and loving you know everything about me that makes me different.